Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about Access. And this time we're going to talk about Microsoft Access database application performance. If your forms, queries, and reports are running very slow, the primary way to improve performance is to make sure that all of your production tables are in proper one-to-many relationships here in the relationships window. So often I'll go into database tools, relationships, and not see any relationships. Make sure you click the all relationships button. Make sure that any hidden tables appear. And in this case, all of the production tables for the Northwind database are in proper one-to-many relationships, which is gonna make the database very fast. The welcome system settings, Northwind features, and name autocorrect log tables are just information about the application. They are not production tables, so they do not need to participate in the one-to-many relationships. That is the primary thing you can do to improve your database application performance. After that, I would go into each table and design view and check out each field, make sure that the correct data type is chosen, and on these short text data types, make sure that field size is cranked down as small as possible. No need to save 50 characters for each customer name if your longest customer name is only 25 characters long. I'll go through each field, examine the properties, particularly the field size of the short text data type. I would go through each table and design view and look at the indexes. Indexes are created to speed up sorting. So for example, this index name is IDX FNLN and the index is defined as first name and if there's a tie on the first name, then the last name would be used. So if you're commonly sorting your records by first name, then last name, you want to include this index. The second one sorts the records by last name, then first name, and then the primary key field, which is employee ID, is always a default index on every table. But sometimes these indexes get created behind the scenes and are not needed. Every time you update or edit or delete a record, the index also gets updated. So there's a little bit of overhead on these indexes. Again, if you're sorting the records commonly by the way the index is defined, you'll want to include the index because that will speed up performance. But you do not need to maintain indexes on records that are not commonly sorted by how the index is defined. Finally, if your database is still running sluggishly after all of that, you might want to consider database tools splitting the database. When you split the database, you actually create two files, a front end and a back end. The front end contains all of the objects except the tables. It includes pointers to the tables. The back end contains the tables. So the thought is that you create a copy of the front end with all the queries, forms, reports, macros, and modules for each user and have them all point to a common back end that's typically on a file server. So typically you put the front ends on each user's machine and so that forms and reports and queries would be loaded locally. But of course, they all want to share the same data. So the back end would contain the actual data, the actual tables, and the front ends would simply point to that back end. So that's another technique that you can use to improve the performance of your database. In fact, splitting your database is often considered a positive thing to do, even if your front end and back end are both located on the file server. The reason for that is if the front end gets corrupted, then your back end is still safe with the tables. Of course, a daily backup of your database or your front end and your back end can prevent disaster from happening. So at any rate, you'll want to have a positive backup plan for the needs of your company, regardless of whether your database is split or not. Thank you.